Welcome to Yerevan in Armenia. Armenian food is supposed to be incredible, but it's hardly really known outside of Armenia or the diaspora itself. So today we're going to make it a prerogative to get to know it better and to understand what it's all about. So let's do it. Our time is a rumbling, so the first stop we're going to make is in a place called Taverna Yerevan. ordered everything and the waiters were laughing at us they're like don't order don't order anymore don't order anymore that's enough <laughs> we need it for the future <laughs> oh, i think we've got quite a lot of food coming we ordered atzah salad dolma horavats and hapama this is not a traditional version of hapama this one has meat beans carrots onion and spices and it's all baked inside a pumpkin the original version is for about 14 people and it's got rice, nuts, raisins, other dried fruits and spices which we would love to try when we have a big hungry company with us. This version though was still delicious. The meat was just falling apart, everything is cooked in the pumpkin juice with fragrant spices, unusual and very hearty. Next up is Horovats, which is basically Armenian barbecued meat. We ordered lamb chops that were served with new potatoes and this absolutely mind-blowing stuffed pepper with spiced aubergine stew. Mm. The meat's been marinated in honey and mustard and it just falls apart, it's so fatty and it just falls off the bone. That is so nice. Wow. Doma is stuffed vine or cabbage leaves. We had stuffed vine leaves with meat, rice and raisins inside. The flavour and texture of everything is very gentle and you get the sourness from the vine leaf as well. I'm definitely a fan. Artsakh salad is carrots, cucumber, salad leaves, beef and peppers. It's like a salty season. Really nice. Really meaty. Beautiful. That was incredible. And this is only the beginning. Okay, we've got enough for a few days now. We're gonna see you again when we get hungry. Right, we've been working all day. We are hungry again, so we're back off out. Right, we're off to the place called Karas. You can see them all over Armenia and it's a local cafe chain. They do good quality, cheap Armenian food. So see you when we're there. I ordered a tan, which is a savoury yoghurt drink. I didn't need to go out the back for a spray. We got some harissa, which is a thick porridge made with chicken and loads of butter. We were told that harissa goes well with pickles, so we got them as well. The porridge is so hearty and delicious, very satisfying and it goes really well with the pickles. The texture of it is soft but it's pleasant, not like gloopy or stodgy, you know? And pickles just give it a nice crunch along with a beautiful kick. We ordered spas, which is a traditional Armenian soup. It's made of yogurt and wheat it's very smooth and really filling. We're having it warm, but apparently you can get it cold too. We never tried anything like this before. You get the sourness from the yogurt, the fresh herbs and the soft grains. It all combines perfectly. 
It is delicious and very soothing. Sometimes I wish I could just pass you the food through the lens to try yourself. I'm sure we are not the only ones that rip off pieces of bread, throw it in a soup and eat it soggy like that. That's the beauty of ordering soup in the bread. It's already done for you. I know it doesn't look sexy, but it's delicious. This is Tuvzik, which is finely chopped beef lungs, liver and onions. It's cooked in a fragrant tomato sauce, topped with fresh herbs and we got some mash to go with it too. To be honest, we didn't expect much, but this completely blew our mind. The sauce is just out of this world. It tastes like the most delicious meat stew you can imagine. And actually, if you didn't know which part of the meat it was, you would never guess. It was falling apart and together with the mash, it is heaven. Throughout the restaurant, the food was amazing. Oh yeah, it was delicious. Especially, you know what, Tabjik was the biggest surprise mm. for me. I didn't expect it to be that awesome. We found out from the waitress as well, by the way. We were gonna say, if you're in Armenia, you have to come here. But there's also one in LA. So if you're in LA, you also have to go there. Karas, hit it up. And also we were talking to the waitress and she told us that they do the best Armenian baklava in the city of Gavar and the shop where they sell it is open all day round so 24 hours and we are on the way there now it's called Yerevan city let's go there's something not right about that sign that's better Let's have them tomorrow for breakfast. Good morning. So we're off at quarter past six. We're off to film our Yerevan video today. Um, we've got a coffee. And we thought we'd try the baklavas. Also, we got an Armenian cake called Mikado here. So this baklava that we have, it's called Davarian. It's from a specific region, apparently they're famous for their baklavas and apparently it's the best one. And uh, let's try it. Oh, listen to the crunch. It's incredibly fresh and just full of nuts. And it's got so much honey, it's literally I just taken them out of the fridge. <laughs> Already it's just melting everywhere. It's very, very delicious. So, Mikado is a layered cake and apparently you can have any types of cream inside but more often than not you will have some creme de lash. Yeah, Julia's right. It's got layers of dolce de leche in there and layers of chocolate. It's not like a soft cake at all, it's really got a nice crunch to it. It's almost like a biscuit texture and then with the chocolate sprinkled on top. Perfect, perfect. Gotta have a bit of coffee with that. Right, we're gonna stuff all this down because it's quarter past six and we need to get out soon. So we'll see you when we get hungry again. We are here at Gahad Monastery and they sell the best gut in Armenia right here. And we're going to purchase it now, take it with our cell coach and eat it when we get back. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. I actually wonder if they're fighting for the first place in the queue because as soon as you walk up to them they're all like trying to get you literally so hard and when you buy it with one the rest of them still trying to sell it to you and if you don't buy it they're gonna turn on you I'm sure babushka number two was swearing at us on the, in Armenian Right, we're back home and let's try gata. Uh, gata is an Armenian sweet treat. It's basically a sweet bread. There is a dough and in the middle there is a paste of butter and sugar and sometimes you can get them with nuts, usually walnuts or without nuts. I think our one has got nuts in them. Uh, let's try it. And always it looks so pretty and so giant. I remember that when I tried it first time, I thought that the com when you hear the combination of like butter and sugar inside something, it doesn't really sound, you know, that exciting, but it's so delicious. And I was surprised then of how beautiful it is. And it's just simply delicious. It's such a simple thing, you'd say, but it's actually really nice, especially with some cup of tea or coffee. So we're in a place called Mayrig to try a couple of really special Armenian dishes. We're well excited. This is a cherry compote and it's so delicious. Right, so the first thing we ordered is called Hagit of Basturma. Basturma is a Armenian cured meat um, similar to Italian bresciola and basically it's really well spiced and then this is served with a tonia bread and a quail egg on top and then some what well, I think is sumak. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Let's dig it. Let's dig it. And the meat is so well spiced. You can tell it's really good quality as well. Like it's really strong tasting. It smells incredible and then with the egg on top and the burst of that yolk and the toasted bread. Amazing. Perfect appetizer. We also ordered beaver of huts and huts means bread and here we've got pepper paste with cheese and sesame seeds. Mm? Oh, the bread is so thin and crispy and so much filling. Mm. You can really taste how fresh and delicious the peppers are and onion, garlic, it's sesame seeds, everything blends it together really, really well. Delicious. This is actually the main reason why we chose to come to this place. This is Armenian Monty, and there is a little boat of dough with meat inside, and there is some sauce over the top of it, like tomato sauce, and matsun, which is an Armenian yogurt, and some sumak on top. Let's try it. I'm super excited for that. Let's make sure we get all of it. <laughs> the combination of everything together is just incredible. And I actually really love that they're so tiny. The big difference between Armenian Monty and the rest is that majority of the time Mantis are boiled or steamed and these ones are baked in the oven and they're definitely worth it. They're so incredible. It was worth a search. Just another thing, we cannot get over this Manti, it's so good. If you come to Yerevan, come to this place, Meirig seems to be the only place we could find them and they are incredible. That was incredible, but we are both stuffed. Yep. Is that? Yep. We just ordered something really interesting. Right, we forgot the name of this, but it's basically a pistachio dessert with a like a milk pudding. Yeah, like a milk, almost like a cottage cheese, isn't it? But it's like a bit lighter and sweeter. Yeah, just like that. Pistachios are my favourite nuts anyway, but that is amazing. You can taste there is some rose water as well. Mm. The combination is actually really interesting. These pistachios with rose water, this milky 
substance and the fruit as well. It's actually very delicious. Mm. It didn't, to be honest, it tastes a lot better than it looks. It's very unusual. <laughs> when it came out, we were thinking, oh, really? <laughs> okay. It's really nice. It's really good. Okay. Armenian food video was the most surprising one yet. We were aware of some dishes. There were some that took us completely by surprise that we weren't aware of at all. It's such an amazing blend of flavours with sort of Middle Eastern influence and the Caucasian influence, European influence. It is just incredible, incredible. Delicious. Well, hope you enjoy this video and learn something new, giving you some ideas to try. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. By the way, in Armenia, they make most delicious pomegranate wine. We were going to pick some up in the restaurant we were in earlier, but there it costs about 6,000. Whereas in the supermarket, it's about one and a half. So, <laughs> we've got something to drink at home. We don't have any wine glasses, so we're going straight out of the bottle. And we don't have a bottle opener. So we're going to go downstairs and ask the man that works in the shop there to help us out. Sorted. It's got such a strong pomegranate smell. It's just so tasty. Chug, 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 chug. Good? Love it. Even out of the bottle. No, out of the bottle. <laughs> I think it's my favorite wine. So yeah, you can really smell the pomegranate and really, you can like really taste it. It's delicious. The best wine. I've is it your favourite wine, would you say? Uh, yeah, I would think so too, to be honest. Yeah, just, I mean, we love pomegranates anyway, so, yeah, amazing, amazing. Hello, I'm an Armenian data. I have one that's inside me. I am very delicious. <laughs> I can't, I can't even take a piss with that hair. <laughs> I was going to say, sometimes I worry about you, but when I look like that... Oh, we're not fast, Do you want me to try it or do you want me to try it? Go for it. Ladies first. Yep. Yep. Oh, fucking hell, it's fallen. Awesome. Awesome. Did I fly into your car? I leave. <laughs> oh no. You can have mine. No, I'm just kidding. That was really light, isn't it? Perfect with tea. We have got tea. You can't see it, but we have. We don't lie. <laughs> <laughs>